Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goal. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 431. NASDAQ is off 131. S&P's off 53. Gold. Gold contract trading down 570 at 1672. You get uh, silver down 11 cents. Nineteen dollars twenty-four cents. Late sweet crude down a buck twenty-eight. Eighty-four dollars forty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down seventeen ticks. One thirteen twenty-six. The thirty-year off a full point plus five ticks at one twenty-nine twenty-five. And king dollar. King dollar is up four hundred and eighty-two ticks. Trading one ten two twenty. The euro is at ninety-nine. The yen is at 143, and the British pound is at 113 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line is that uh, you're getting a rejection of lower price, folks. And, you know, if we can keep... You know, where we are right now, it would be fine. Okay, you close right here. Bottom line, that's a rejection of lower price. You have light of oil. And what we have in, in the SPY right now, you get 51 million shares traded right now inside of the SPY. So ballpark, and let's say we do 71, you're coming, you rejected 103 million. And that's at that, so it'd have to close above 382.11. And right now we're at 382.95. Uh, so let's... Let me go into the futures first, because this is going to be interesting, because I just want to show you, there is, there is, there are buyers here, man. There, there's been three different trusts thrust up, and they have volume behind the move here. So, we take a look at this, you're going to see, you know, first you, first you came off this low, and you had volume all the way up to uh, 38.62. That was the first time we had volume all day, meaning that's how you want it to. You don't want it at the lows, you want it when you're coming up. We had 48,000 contracts there. Then we backed down with 35. So you had 48, you back down with 35, and then boom, we go higher with 77. And now we're dealing with this 10-minute uh, bar, and it looks to me like you're gonna have lighter volume on this bar. So um, this is where the, the rub is gonna meet the road here. Um, well, that's good. No, the, 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 oh, the new bar's starting already. That's not bad, man. So we'll see where that one's gonna take us. Now, when we go into the NDX 100, and the NDX is a little bit different. And here's the divergence, there's no doubt about it. The divergence is, that the NQs, are, well, first off, the, um, the QQQ, we didn't test the low, which, you know, is a problem. You know, it's not a problem, but guess what? It would be a lot cleaner, um, you know, analysis if it did test the bottom. So what we had here is that we had come down uh, on Thursday, and you come down with 79 million yesterday, you know, you go higher with 52, and today you're going to do nothing. So it's a sideways move. Um, that could definitely be a problem. But my take is that we are still going higher. And the reason for that has to do with that S&P. You know, I like, how it, I like how it's operating. I particularly like how what, ha what, I, what I've found is this, is that on big announcement days like this, is that... If you do hang at those lows and the volume contracts, but you can get above it slightly, it's like, okay, man, someone knows something, you know, and we're going higher. So I'm sticking with that thesis. Um, oil. Let's go to the oil market, take a look at the oil market. The oil market is unbelievable, man. The, the oil market has just been like, you talk about going up and down three days in a row. Uh, I mean, three dollars every day. It's, it's amazing. So the low today was 83.52. The high was 86. Now, if we take a look at this, now this is, take a look at this. This one's lower price, man. Yeah. Is this, that's October oil. Yeah, this is, to me, that still looks like it wants lower price. That's how that baby's set up. We go into the note and bond market, and what we have here, 
Um, I'm going to put this on a continuous because what's happening is that we have already done a 100% move of a move, meaning that most times, folks, let's say that if you go up $15 and you come back down $15, that's 100% move of a move. Most time, that's the most that any equity futures, all of the above does. You know, it, well, it can go lower or higher, but my point is then it starts going sideways, it chops around, it does all of those things, okay? So if we take a look at this 10-year first and we put this back, we take a look at it, I just want to see how, what it's coming into. Okay, so I'm going to put this, I see, okay, so, okay, I see right there. Okay, this is good. Well, you know, you're, you're coming into uh, a lot of resistance here, you know, support rather on the way down. Now, the support has been null, that's for sure. And I suspect if this is going to be a bounce, you know, we'll see whether, you know, but you're definitely coming into some support there. And the dollar hasn't moved at all. I mean, the, the dollar basically is saying, hey, man, I'm going to the moon, and you can either come with me or not come with me or try to fight it. Um, it looks to me like that dollar is not going to move until there's announcement out here tomorrow. And the real key, the kicker in the announcement is tomorrow. I suspect what we're going to have, folks, is that it's going to be 75 basis points, three quarters of a percent. And if we do the three quarter percent, what will end up happening, that the, the rate then would be, we got the high end would be 3%, you know, because, uh, no, the high end would be three and a quarter percent. Yeah. Because we're at 2.5 on the high end of the, the range. Okay. The low end is 225. The high end is at three and a quarter. And, you know, it's real possible that, uh, actually, let me look at this for a second. I want to see this because this came out too. So the calendar, okay, so the calendar, yeah, you know what, man, I, I bet they, they're going to go 75 basis points. And that November 2nd, you know, I know the Fed don't speak so political and all that, but I, that, that's right before the primaries, right? They can take a pause there. That'll, that'll blow the market up big time. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.